Is there a difference between rich people and poor people? No. Is there a difference between how rich people think and how poor people think? Yes. The difference between the thought pattern of the rich and poor is responsible for their different financial classes. Thoughts form habits, which in turn forms results. Little wonder rich people behave in a manner that is similar to each other, and poor people, they equally behave in a way that is peculiar to poor folks. As a result of the difference in their thought process, rich people can't seem to understand why poor people react in a specific manner and vice versa. So in this video, I'll share with you 9 things that are strange for the rich but normal for poor people. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Poor people spend their time watching television, while rich people read. According to Zig Ziglar, an American author and salesman, rich people have small TVs and big libraries, and poor people have small libraries and big TVs. Poor people find pleasure in getting entertained, which is why they sit in front of a screen all day long, watching reality shows. They want to find out what is going on in other people's lives, so they spend all their time surfing the internet and getting entertained on social media. Instead of spending their time investing in self-development, they would instead enjoy several hours of entertainment on TV, which is why they remain poor. 2. Poor people blame others for their predicament. Poor people think they are poor because their parents were poor or grew up in a poor environment or they had no money to go to school. They think circumstances or people are responsible for their poverty. They fail to understand that everyone is in charge of their lives and can make it whatever they please, whether to succeed or not. Check out one or two wealthy people around you. Did you notice how responsible they are? Not only are they responsible for themselves, but others as well. On the other hand, poor people prefer to shift all their responsibilities to someone else and they never blame themselves for their mistakes. Instead, they find a way to blame the one who is responsible for them. You know what? We can say poor people are lazy. They don't want to move out of their comfort zone or go out of their way to work hard enough to earn themselves something good. 3. Poor people always have an excuse for why they have not made it. If you ask any poor person around you why they haven't made it yet, and then listen to what they have to say, a bunch of excuses. And you know what? They want people to empathize and sympathize with them when they're done listing their reasons. They think they've suffered enough and deserve to be helped. Hence, they keep sharing the same old story of how they had no money or opportunity to get a qualification and the likes. Poor people always have a story to tell as an excuse for not being wealthy or successful. On the other hand, rich people accept everything that has happened to them as an opportunity to become or remain successful. 4. Poor people prefer to get paid based on their time, while rich people, based on the results they produce. Poor people are not result-oriented at all. They want to come to work 5 days a week, 4 weeks a month, and then get paid for their regularity at work, whether or not they get their daily tasks completed. On the other hand, rich people prefer to be paid based on the results they achieve at the end of the day. So, if it means taking a longer time than usual to deliver an excellent result, they'll go for it and get paid accordingly. They are productive and goal-focused. Rich people don't understand why others prefer to be paid at the end of the month when they can do a beautiful job in a couple of minutes and get handsomely rewarded or paid for putting in their best. 5. Poor people complain about every problem and they never find a solution. The government is bad. The roads are terrible and the weather is such a big problem these days. You know what? I'm sick and tired of it all. Why can't somebody just get it right for once? Do those words sound familiar? They are words of the poor. They are full-time complainers. For example, most poor people who get in an accident spend the next three days talking about the accident, what happened, how it happened, etc. On the other hand, successful people will immediately call their insurance company, schedule an appointment to fix their car at a shop, and be done with it. Instead of dwelling on something that has happened that you can't change, why not focus on a solution to it and moving away from it in good time? 6. Poor people only think of how to make money, not how to be great. Mark my words, I'll be a millionaire one day, or I'll own a Lambo one day. I'm sure by now you know where these words come from. Yes, from poor people. Making money is the ultimate for them. Poor people don't think of how to become great. They don't even regard the growth involved in the journey. They only concern themselves with all the things they can begin to buy once they start making money. When you go ahead to ask them how they intend to make money to buy those things that they have pointed out, they'll say something like, I'll own my own business, build a brand, etc. People who focus on being significant think about how they can become one of the best guys in their industries. They set goals like, I want to become the best car salesman or become the number one restaurant in the city. When you become good at what you do, you'll definitely become rich. 
7. Poor people focus on saving while rich people on investment. Saving is good, but saving without an intention is a poor decision because you will end up spending the money on things that don't matter. T. Harv Ecker of Secret Mind of a Millionaire said, If you are saving your money for a rainy day, what are you going to get? Rainy days. Stop doing that. Instead of saving for a rainy day, focus on saving for a joyous day or for the day you win your financial freedom. Rich people save towards investment, whereas poor people save towards rainy days. 8. Poor people think they know it all. Have you ever sought to get a piece of advice from someone poor? They always seem to know it, even without the experience. Poor people think they know how best to make money. They believe that they are smart and strong enough to make money by working harder to earn more money. While rich people keep learning, growing up and stepping out over their boundaries in the search for self-development, poor people tend to be opinionated about anything that is outside their realm of influence. They have an opinion on almost every subject matter. They think they know it all. 9. Poor people surround themselves with poor people. E. A. Buckhannery said, Evil influence is like a nicotine patch. You cannot help but absorb what sticks to you. Also, according to Michael Bassey Johnson, to be of good quality, you have to excuse yourself from the presence of shallow and callow-minded individuals. The truth is that you can't expect to be around poor people and become a wealthy superhero friend in their midst. It doesn't work that way. Poor people are always around poor people like them, and they spend the entire time talking about people rather than talking about ideas like the rich guys do. Remember, ideas rule the world. But when you have nothing relevant to offer, how then can you become rich? That's it guys. Stop thinking like poor people and start thinking like rich people if you want to succeed. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.